Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you a shoutcast and a replay between Hasu and um, what Night End. I will call them, yeah, um, Night End versus Hasu, it, what Hasu Observer. I don't know why he has Hasu OBS. So I'll call it Hasu versus Night End here on Metopolis right now. They, they both go, um, good game, good luck, good luck. And here we have this game underway. Protoss versus Protoss. Another game without Terran. So hopefully I will know enough of what's happening and what's going on. I really want to cast more of these non-Protoss or non-Terran games as I do not understand the other matchups as well as I understand the pro the Terran matchups against the other the Terran the three Terran matchups. Anyways, we have now a probe moving out from Hasu. Hasu moving out with this to that north hand side. I'm gonna go ahead and be able to scout out night and very quickly. A, pro a pylon being built towards this front side as well, so that pylon being built in position. And now we have a probe moving out once again. We'll see. We're probably gonna see another 150 gateway being built. So. Yeah, I really don't have many predictions. I think this is the first Protoss versus Protoss game that I've cast, and now we have the gateway finally being put in. So, a little, what we're gonna have Hasu being a little bit behind in terms of the gateway, just because that probe was not mining. But in, but at least Hasu knows exactly what Night End is doing and not doing any cheese strategies with any proxy gateways or anything like that. N now coming the gateway for Hasu. Hasu just a little bit behind, right there, as well. So a single gateway being built, the probe still doing some scouting, both of the players talking to each other, I guess they're laughing about their teammates, or laughing about an, uh, another StarCraft player who is uh, not as at, as good at StarCraft 2 than StarCraft 1. For all of you guys who think you guys understand the balance in StarCraft 2 because you've played StarCraft 1, the balance is indeed very different. The introduction of Chrono Boost, the introduction of Queens, really really makes the game um, very very different the game is still being balanced it took what blizzard almost six years in order to finally balance out the game so when we when i say that there is there's still some minor balance issues that need to be discovered that's no hark that's you know no ding to blizzard as you know these games take years and years as the game and the community evolves in terms of figuring out what the strategies in fact are single zealot now sitting on that top ramp night end coming in and Night and taking some damage from that Zealot. Zealot now trying to run back away, down to 83 hit points and able to move back away once again. So 83 hit point Zealot is in fact able to scout out where Hasu is. Hasu getting a secondary gateway, so double gateway and for both Knight and, un and Hasu. This is something that I rarely see in, in, in Terran versus Terran or Terran versus Protoss as uh, they generally like to go to stalkers a little bit faster but that actually makes sense as uh, stalkers are only plus armored and there's no reason to build stalkers as stalkers are only weak against themselves so zealot zealot micro perhaps with um, perhaps with those sentries will probably be a very very nice build sentries costing a hundred gas and no one getting gas yet wait I take that back Hasu final uh, getting gas and now getting that cybernetic score as well we'll see uh, how that's really gonna work at now another zealot now being uh, warped in as well uh, sitting at 29 over 34 food we'll see if we finally see any disruptors and we have a twilight council coming into play so most likely that is going to in fact going to be for charge zealots sitting on that ramp in order to try to fight back in this position zealots just lining up here only three zealots or six zealots able to fight at a time one zealot moving back out another zealot takes its place and continuing to fight no disruptors oh one disruptor finally being built and that one disruptor may have been enough to really turn the tide of that battle one range unit would have been all it really took in order to figure out how to figure um, how to push back that attack disruptor uh, costing 42 to build or 42 time to build and now that disruptor is finally out come on disruptor is finally out and the damage is only eight but now a nice force shield in order to push that uh, that attack back and now those zealots are stuck so the one zealot just uh, fighting trying to fight back and that single zealot now going to get taken down so two zealots getting taken down with a very very nice force field positioning two zealots now continuing to fight and now more zealots once again trying to push back out and um, guardian shield costs 75 energy force field costs um, cross 50 so force field will be ready uh, up and ready again once again a single zealot is in pl or now a single another zealot now being warped in taking a look at the armies the blue army has 700 or seven zealots while hasu has five zealots and, and five zealots and one sentry so let me take a look at that yeah that that is right over there 
gateway wise gateways are not producing anything taking a look at back of the base over here night and now getting dual assimilators finally getting that cybernetic core in order to get those sentries has a large amount of zealots over there nine zealots sitting at that front door or on that lower ground no one really taking an expansion yet and now we have what double gateways uh, double gateways and we should probably be getting that warp gate yeah warp gate now being researched the warp gate enabling the protoss army to really replenish units much more quickly and be able to respond to what the other opponent is doing much more quickly as well as all you have to do is um, use the warp in build timer as opposed to actually build the unit so one of the strengths of protoss now will be in fact figuring out and building counter units as long as those warp gates have something to warp in dark templars now being warped in so taking a look at over here we have this single dark shrine and dark templars being warped in i do not see a robotics facility anywhere for night end i do not see oh a forge now being built so that forge can be very critical those cannons really need to be well placed in order to fight those units back zealots now a group of what 12 yeah of oh, 13 a, a group of 12 zealots now and now those zealots or no we have those uh, um, dark templars getting a couple of free hits in try, taking down some of those zealots zealots realizing that they are in fact fighting against dark templars and realizing that they really need to push back out what one zealot already taken down another zealot coming in to replace it and now those zealots trying to run in or no, no, no those dark templars now trying to run in on that north hand side a single zealot running around in circles around night end and now in comes a zealot zealot going to be coming into the main base and do we have some cannons being warped in yes photon cannon being warped in on that backside down goes a probe another probe another probe four kills five kills six kills Oh my goodness, that that one Dark Templar dealing so much damage, and now that Photon Cannon and still regenerating the shields as it's being built, and that Photon Cannon gonna get taken down. Down it goes, no detection. Poor Probe gets taken down once again. Taking a look over here, we have also have a single, a, a single Dark Templar trying to hide away from those Photon Cannons out of sight range, and now all of those probes mo being moved over here. So Knight and being able to continue to mine and from these mineral patches as an as no wait that dark temple are able to get in more kills as and the dark this single dark Templar wants to take down this um, gateway for this pylon w one gateway only operational more pylons trying or more gateways trying to be built and now a robotics facility trying to be worked in hasu taking this time to build um, a nexus over here at these high yield minerals on the other side of the map hasu wanting to just try to supply lock night end by destroying all of these pylons a single um, stargate up and operational but no units being produced by it right now robotics facility nearing completion and or sorry almost almost halfway as it as it's most likely getting a chrono boost and then try to warp in some additional dark templars and taking a look at where those Dark Templars are, a single probe now moving out, a single Dark Templar is still running within that base over here. Knight and just trying to move around with that probe, probe getting taken down, and now Nexus once again taking damage. That um, Dark Templar moving around, dealing damage towards those shields, and Nexus down to 87 hit points, and perhaps going to try to take down another one of these um, pylons. No, not going to take down that pylon. Going to try to take down this Nexus. Hasu looking very, very strong right now. And meanwhile, he was able to mass up a forces, a force of sentries, and getting some disruptors as, or sorry, sentries as well. Got to remember, I've been, I've been writing them as disruptors for so long and referring to them as disruptors for so long. Dark Templar down to 220, um, or taking down that Nexus down to 220, trying to queue up some probes inside, not going to really work. Observer going to come into play and going to try to get a surround off on that Dark Templar. Dark Templar able to destroy the building though and escape through the building. So very, very nice play. Single Observer still overhead. Perhaps you try to chase down that Dark Templar. Dark Templar going to get killed by those Zealots. Zealots without that charge upgrade. But now we in fact have that final Observer and down goes that dark templar so that dark templar are able to pretty much shut down the economy at the main base and at the main base for quite some time taking a look at the probe count over here it is at full saturation now but not mining any gas so night and needs to get us some assimilators and also trying to rebuild this nexus in order to harvest from these assimilators as well meanwhile hasu pretty much fully um, yes fully saturated on on these yellow mineral patches 
and those high yield mineral patches and also gathering a very very large army Hasu's army sitting at 81 or 82 over 108 meanwhile knight and sitting at 63 over 66 there are a couple photon cannons here though i do not see any robotics facility in the base of Hasu. oh so finally robotics facility but it's going to take some time if he really wants to try to warp in any of those units observer now moving out to try to do some scouting and that timer says stay tuned for part two and the conclusion of this replay between Hasu and, excuse me, um, Hasu and Night End here on Metopolis.